Good morning, day 323. I'm outside because it's like 18 degrees. and But it's a beautiful sunrise. And uh, I, got, I have to work this morning. But I have. My husband got a heater for me. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Um, I haven't even used it yet. He got it for himself too. So he can grill all winter long. Um, and be warmed by the grill and by our outdoor heater. So I'm going to give it a try. It's my first time trying it. Anyway, I read chapters, Hebrews chapters 5 and 6 this morning. I was going to just do 5, but then I went on to 6, and I'm so glad I did. Um, because uh, Paul gets into some, or whoever is the author, they think it's Paul, um, got into some some mis the mystery of God. And he, he's almost chastising at first um, in chapter five, like, y'all, y'all are spiritually dull. <laughs> You're so caught up in just the basics. You're like babies. Like, why are you still at the basic teachings of Christ? You need to go deeper. Like, you're, and you're still here. You're stuck here. Like, God has so much more for you. But it requires... Uh, and these are my words, like dual thinking, going into the mystery, um, knowing that he, when he speaks to you, <coughs> and he has to, because he doesn't have a body, he's not going to speak to us like you and I do. Like you're not going to hear an audible voice. It often comes with um, desires, thoughts, and then you know they're from God um, when you learn to hear his voice. Um, and if you're not sure, you can, you have, you know, um, God's words to sort of measure it by and go in and check in with. If it, if it causes you to harm somebody, if it causes harm to yourself, if it is, um, you know, something that is like meets the foolishness standards of, you know, of the word, like that's not of God. That's you. That's your own desires. But when God places a desire on his heart, we can cut, there's some criteria he's given us um, so that we can kind of make sure like, is this really like what? And once God gives you his word, um, he honors it. We, that's where the faith of us, we are, you and me comes in to, um, to help us, to remind us, okay, just because he gave us a promise, a desire, um, a hint of something coming, doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. We need patience, endurance. And Paul goes back to Abraham and that God not only gave his promise, but his oath. And he talks about how an oath is even, you know, he puts putting something at higher accountability outside of yourself, like giving yourself accountability. And I thought that was really interesting because there's a promise, there's our word, there's a promise, like we put that like stamp on it, like I promise. And I and then there's an oath, like even going deeper, like with an outside higher authority accountability. And um, I ta I think about things like this a lot now because I'm committed to sort of transforming. God put on my heart, I have more for you, but it, it requires you to go through some changes. Change for humans is hard. And so I had to learn how to embrace promises and oaths and accountability to help me and support me on days when my flesh is weak, like, no, I don't want to do this. I want to have the comfort the of doing the same thing or being the same way. I'm tired. So I've had to really commit to new ways of being. And that's what Paul is asking these folks to do. Like, grow up, move beyond. It's going to require more of you. But God has promised. He has promised. Not only that, he's made an oath but you have to step up and do your part and have hope that it will actually come true, which is faith, and to endure the harder part of not having whatever it is that you're hoping for. Whoa. Like, 
that is what he asks us to do. It is active. It is, and this is what Jesus came um, to show us the way. And he was, he, it says he went into, into the curtain, into God's inner, um, inner way of being. I don't know if I'm saying that quite right or the way I want to, but it's what's coming out now. Jesus went into the curtain and we have Jesus's eternal um, way showing us like what to do. And then it said eternal, but I also think it's internal. It's internal and eternal because once you really are living from an internal place, God, and we are part of God and you realize the oneness of everything, um, and that is sort of your compass. You also have the ability to be more in the now. Like as humans, we're always worried about the past. We're caught up in past, pasteurizing or we're future tripping. And we often miss the joy and the isness of the present moment because we're so worried about getting here or going back and being ashamed of that back there that we miss life. This is eternal. All that ever is, is now, now. And the way to get to now is to go internal. Um, Because we are in realizing, oh, God and I are not separate. (laughs) He is in me. I am in him. And when and that's how he talks to me. He puts ideas in my head, thoughts in my head, desires in my heart and says, and then I've learned how to listen and tune into that voice and I know how to sort of fact check it. And then I can confidently go in that direction, even though it's hard because I'm holding on to the promises I've got the basics of my faith down. I'm moving into more mature action because I'm not caught down here arguing with people about basic things that we all know about and parsing words and arguing about theology. Um, I'm up here living my more mature, deep, intrinsic faith, or I'm trying to. I'm I'm on the staircase, I think. Um, anyway. This works pretty good, y'all. I might have to come start coming back out here more. Um, I'm excited. Uh, anyway, trying something new this morning. I've got to go get ready and start hopping on a few call, Saturday calls. But I want you to really like meditate on God's promises. He gave them long ago to Abraham. And he continues to give them to us. He continues to speak to us and provide a way when there is no way. He shows up just in the nick of time. Um, And we have to hold on to the hope and the promise. And then that allows us to also make promises to ourselves and to others, and maybe even an oath to hold yourself accountable to um, not staying down here in the shallows of your faith, um, which can, again, counterfeit people. It can counterfeit people and really turn them back into modern day Pharisees when they get stuck in arguing over the teachings and who's got it right and how they're doing this. And this church is doing that. And this is what we do and blah, blah, blah. And getting worried about other people. Paul says, stop. That's not what, that makes your spirituality dull, dull. And I know you're not dull. And that's what he says to them. He starts out calling them dull. And then he gives all this stuff, instruction and um, encouragement, strong encouragement. And then he goes, but you know what? I'm probably really not talking to you because I know you're not dull. I know you're on your path. So it's like, he kind of re does this positive reinforcement of like, you could be this way. I'm seeing some signs, but I know that you're really not that way. I know you're here. I know you're on your path, like giving them the, the words they needed to go. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. You're right. We're not doing that. Yeah. We're going to go over here and do this. <laughs> um, 
which requires a great amount of faith and perseverance and determination. Um, and when we hold ourselves accountable, and that's what God did. He held himself accountable by even swearing on his own name way back in Genesis um, is the um, is the quote that they gave uh, from Genesis chapter 22, 17 is the scripture that's referenced in Hebrews 6 about God's promises and oaths. So I went back and even did that reading this morning um, and incorporating it. Anyway, rise and shine. Hold on to God's promises. Go deeper with your faith. Go deeper inside um, and connect with God um, on the inside. He's not out there in the rules and in semantics and theology uh, with people, although that can make us puff up our own pride and make us think that we're very deep Christians. And um, we've got to go inside and do the deeper work of maturing and becoming who we're supposed to be, which takes a lot of faith and determination to transform, to transcend. Um, And this is actually how we encourage others in their faith is by doing our own faith walk. Um, actions speak louder than words. Okay, I really do have to go hop on a call. So rise and shine. Have a great day. Bye. Good morning.